I'm losing my job. The job market is terrible. It's really bad right now, and especially uh, the tech adjacent industry that I'm in, games industry. Uh, it's pretty hellish. There's layoffs after layoffs after layoffs after layoffs. And uh, I guess I got hit by one finally. It's been five years, but I finally got hit by a layoff. Look at my uh, opportunities that are around on various websites. And uh, it doesn't seem like a ton, or at least when you look at the prerequisites, it really feels like none of them, um, I'm qualified to do none of them. It almost feels like I'm alone and everything I've been doing uh, doesn't matter. Maybe that's just imposter syndrome talking, um, but I don't think so. I see a lot of people trying for these jobs, and um, honestly, it makes me sad. Because these jobs are people chasing something that potentially can creatively fulfill them and bring meaning to their life, because video games and other media have given purpose to them, so they want to be able to make them and, you know, repeat the cycle. I know, though, that people see this, and uh, I know that there's a lot of people that have been trying non-stop for a long time, and the fact that I have at least these jobs that I have had, um, and they don't, feels kind of unfair. I really feel that. So when someone is desperately trying to get these jobs, I, I kind of get sad. I just wish that it wasn't so difficult to get in to begin with. See, the thing is, with a lot of the jobs that I've gotten so far, I really feel like it's a lot of imposter syndrome. I feel like it's been jobs that I don't um, deserve or that I'm very good at, uh, even if I've garnered praise for my abilities. So now I'm looking at the world of applying for jobs right now and the field that I'm in, and it's a little rough. I think everyone's feeling this, right? That it's kind of difficult to find jobs or positions. Everything's requiring experience people don't have or skills people don't have. To me, I, I don't think that weeds out candidates that will be right for the job. I think it'll just create ones that lie. Like me. Now, I don't outright lie too much, but I definitely stretch the truth of what I'm capable of because I want that job. I need that job. I can't really just say, no, I, I can't do that, or I don't really want to do that. Maybe for some things, but where I'm at, uh, these opportunities really ask for a lot, honestly. And, um, yeah. Part of me looks at other artists who are freelance in making what they make, and I uh, look at it almost as maybe that's something I could try. Freelance, not going for a job, not going for a full-time safety, being taken care of, comfort. When you get a job in the games industry, you kind of want to have positive momentum going forward. That if there's a gap too long, that will set off red flags. So to be in a situation where I might poison those things is really, well, it's scary. If I stop and bet on myself and lose, I could lose all this momentum that I've been building for five years. When I see other people that want this life, it's crazy. It's honestly really overwhelming. This might be a bit overdramatic, but I'm sure that there are people out there that would kill to have this position. The thing is, when I look towards future jobs like the one I currently have, I don't really see myself being very happy. I see myself getting burnt out and sad. Early on in my career, I had a panic attack because I felt the sense of creative stagnation and burnout in the job I was doing. When I look at continuing the sort of jobs that I have right now, if that were to move forward, I don't think I'd be very happy. I might be more successful, but I wouldn't really have anything I'm proud of. Over my professional career, I've had about six canceled games and maybe only three projects that have come out, one very big one, and 
None of them really make me proud. Not like my own stuff. See, I make things and they're really neat. I'm very proud of them. The thing is, you know, they aren't super successful in a way that I can make a living off them. I think something I'd like to do is um, maybe be able to help someone else make these smaller projects a reality. I think just what sucks so bad is needing to have money for this stuff. I really wish that wasn't the case. For the first time, maybe ever, I'm realizing now that I uh, can express myself through this. Through what I'm making. It feels pure. Good. Maybe it's just because I'm making for myself and not someone else. I don't know. It almost feels like I'm drawn to try something that um, I align with more or that I'm more scared to do. To maybe put an end to the momentum that I've been talking about and trying for something that will maybe make me happy. It almost feels like I'm going to be drinking poison on purpose. <laughs>